right, by now, you know, if you've been watching, we sent Marty to Hartford County to a dairy farm to put him to work this morning. Yes, indeed. He joins us live once again. Marty, tell us more about where you are and what you're up to with Luann, that darling cow. <laughs> Well, uh, Lou, I just got a lesson in animal husbandry. I didn't realize Luann was kind of sitting down, kind of chilling out. I didn't realize when cows stand up after eating their cud, they like to poop. <laughs> just like people, first thing in the morning. It would have, a minute later, we'd have had the greatest TV of all time. <laughs> really, honestly, would. Now tell them about the name Brooms Bloom. This is absolutely. Fascinating. Maryland is a huge ag state. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, really we always is. show pictures of industry, et cetera, et cetera, but it's a gigantic ag state. Yes, yes, it is. And, and you really shouldn't undervalue the um, how important agriculture is to uh, Maryland and really how important local food sources are. And we've seen that a lot in the last few years with the pandemic. So, this is an original land grant. Yes. You should see that we're in a couple hundred acres here. It is absolutely gorgeous. And Crops will start growing alfalfa. You got winter wheat. I mean, this is going to be spectacular in about a month, month and a half. Yes, yes, it is. But yep. tell them about the, the, the Revolutionary so, War history here. So, my, uh, so our family's owned it since 1726. I always tell people we're 50 years older than the country. We're on our ninth generation. Right. And the name Brooms Bloom comes from the original land grant. Right. Now, a John. Broom was the first owner of it. Got it. He also owned Broom's Island, which is down in southern Maryland. Southern Maryland. And then our family purchased it from him. Okay, so this is not unlike a vineyard or like a, 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 a microbrewery in Maryland. You've got this whole beautiful area. There, there, there's music. People come here Tuesday through Sunday uh, to, to eat ice cream, which is made here, to sit around, hang out, enjoy a beautiful evening. Once again, imagine if this were a vineyard, you'd be you'd be doing wine, but yes. you're doing ice cream. So, yes. real quick, how how is it you milk a cow? Okay, okay. Well, the, let the, me get. This is the most important part of a cow. Yeah. The cow's udder. She has four teeth. Right. And then you kind of she now she was milked this morning, but you. Can so it's see. like squeezing. Yes. Yep. You know. You Why know. Don't what, you, can I just say this? Sure. No, because you told me it's it's a two yes, finger. Yes. So it's kind of like. Yes. There like you that. go, Marty. There you go. Is it sweet? Yeah, it is. This is um. No, I'm I'm, I'm kind of I'm I'm kind of asking for a reason. I remember. How can I say this without getting in trouble with my wife? My 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 I'm going to get in big trouble. What? <laughs> Where are we going with this? Marty? My daughter was about three months old, and one Saturday morning, as an alarm clock, it was kind of like that. But what a deal! Unbelievable. How many gallons of milk will she produce? She usually about eight a day. She makes eighty pounds of milk in a day. Yeah. Eighty pounds of milk yeah, in a she, day. She gets milk twice a day. Okay. Mm -hmm. At five a.m. and five p.m. Yep. Are you coming Eddie's tomorrow out. morning? You can fill in for me. Yeah. <laughs> now that we've taught you this skill. That's all you need. Listen, we've got a rat. You have some time in the early morning, right? Hold on one second. Just just one more. <laughs> Farmer Bass. Hey, listen, <laughs> we're going to go to the other end of that milk here before not too long. We're going in to show ice cream being made. We're going to talk about the dairy trail and the ladies who run this most incredible farm. Back to you. Okay, thank you, Marty. We'll be